Jazz pianist Paul Hanmer alongside multi-instrumentalist Dave Reynolds, bassist Mark Wade and flamenco dance and music performance Desert Flowers by Linda Vargas Dance Company are set to still the show at the Music Unlocked sessions presented by the Centre for Jazz and Popular Music in conjunction with the I Support Creative Business. The virtual concert is scheduled to go live on Wednesday the 12th of August at 6 p.m. To tell us more about this highly anticipated show, I'm now joined on Skype by one of the show's headliners, Linda Vargas. Linda, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Thank you so much for inviting us. We really appreciate it. Well, it's a pleasure. You are, you are more than welcome. For the benefits of those that may not be familiar with this concert, Linda, what is the Music Unlocked Sessions all about? Well, it's a beautiful virtual um, concert series uh, presented by the Centre for Jazz and Popular Music and, as you said, the Ice Coordinator Business. And they are giving um, like, like a triple bill. The first one with um, absolutely world-renowned jazz pianist Paul Hammer and um, Dave Reynolds, who's the multi-instrumentalist who will perform with him, followed by um, award-winning bassist Mark Wade from New York, USA. And the third piece would be ours, Desert Flowers, from the Linda Vargas Dance Company in conjunction with a number of numerous invited guests, included in the flat Mm. And uh, you were invited by the Music Unlocked sessions to present your Desert Flowers performance as a once-off screening. Tell us about that, Linda, and how it led to you being a part of this concert. What are you bringing to this concert? Well, this particular performance is quite close to my heart. Um, I did it quite a number of years ago and I presented it. This is the third time um, at the National Arts Festival on the Virtual Fringe this year. Um, and basically it is about, and it's quite appropriate, funnily enough, it was first done in 2004, but it's actually become more popular and, and appropriate now with all the racist um, turmoil and challenges that we're all facing. But I was already dealing with that many years ago, as many artists were. And it deals with the complexity of identity within a multicultural world and how um, individuals can struggle to understand who they are. And then in a visual way, we say how the ancestral world comes to them in a moment of allowing and inspires them to choose who they would like to be because many people see identity as fixed and it's, in many ways it's also chosen. So. Um, I explore all those dynamics in a visual form and the music has the most amazing, compelling score by Nini Fernandez um, um, on the guitar, flamenco guitar. Amazing world-renowned uh, pianist Neil Gonsalves, Martin Sigomini on all sorts of instruments, Brian P um, Stone on percussion and obviously the incredible artistry of the Flatfoot Dance Company. And it deals with all these issues of who are we in this incredibly complex world that we are. Let's talk about the Desert Flowers performance that you've choreographed. Uh, what is yeah. that all about and what was the inspiration behind it? What went into that choreography? Well, as I said, um, I have done a number of years of exploring multiculturalism and how that affects people who um, struggle to understand who they are. And so it's a visual presentation of that struggle using various dance that I use contemporary, flamenco, classical, jazz, um, and we mix them all together in a way that presents that complexity of identity, how people explore and choose who they would really like to be. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's related to all the stuff that I've done, even in my studies, because I've done a a master's degree in multicultural education. So it's exploring identity and who we are in this world that's becoming increasingly diverse. No, and I understand it is also showcased at the Virtual National Arts Festival and was also used for a good cause to assist those uh, that are hit hard by the pandemic. Tell us more about that. Well, it's one of those incredible situations that the arts are always the first ones to tell you when a society is in a little bit of a challenge. And so many dance uh, practitioners and dance teachers are 
incredibly um, disadvantaged at this time because they cannot earn a living. And so we did the fundraiser for the, for the dance teachers to try and keep them um, alive and afloat for as long as we can because without our dancers, uh, our society will be very depleted. Okay. Now, as you wrap this interview, please give us more details on how those that are interested can be a part of this show. Well, you can get your tickets at Web Tickets, um, and there's a YouTube link that will be sent to you, and the tickets are 50 Rand, and it'll be on the Wednesday, the 12th of August, available to you from 6 p.m., and you can watch it whenever you feel you would like to, and it's also available right through until the 15th, Sunday, the 15th of August. It will be a real treat, and I, I urge people to watch it. It's a definite must-see, I do have a feeling. Uh, Linda, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. It's such a pleasure. Thank you so much, too. Great stuff. Now, speaking to us about the 20-minute long piece that she choreographed for the forthcoming virtual performance at the Music Unlocked Sessions concert, there is Linda Vargas from Desert Flower.